Let's go over math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 2, decimal fractions. Topic A, exploration of tenths. I'm going to do an activity where I use a centimeter ruler to help me draw a line that is 2 centimeters long. Now when I go to draw that line, I'm not going to start here at the end of my ruler. I'm actually going to find where 0 begins, and 0 begins right here on my ruler. So I'm going to start right there. Then I'm going to draw my line segment 2 centimeters long. So I'm going to stop right above the 2. That is 2 centimeters long. Now I'm going to extend this line 6 tenths of another centimeter. So that would be me extending it six more parts because the space in between the two and the three is separated into ten parts. So if I move six more parts down the number line or the ruler, now I have a line segment that is two centimeters and six tenths of the next centimeter. So let's show where each of those would be. Two centimeters would be about here, and six tenths of a centimeter would be about there. So we can say we have two centimeters plus six tenths of a centimeter, and that equals two and six tenths of a centimeter. If we want to write this as a decimal, we would write two centimeters plus 0 decimal 6 centimeters, which we say the same way we say the fraction, 6 tenths centimeter. And when we add those together, we get 2 and 6 tenths centimeter. The way it's written here as a fraction is the way we say it in decimal form, 2 and 6 tenths centimeter. Let's take a look at this activity. I have a ruler underneath this piece of paper here, and I'm going to show you some of the tenths. So how many tenths am I showing you right now? Well, I'm showing you one whole centimeter that's separated into ten parts, and I'm showing you all ten of them. So when, I, when you see one centimeter, you have ten tenths of one centimeter. So you have all of one centimeter. If I showed you two centimeters, how many tenths would we have? Well, here I have ten, so here I would have twenty. Twenty tenths. Well, what if I moved it to where you could see six more tenths? Now, how many tenths do I have? Here I had ten, here I have ten, and here I have six. 10, 10, 6. I have 26 tenths. 26 tenths can be written as a fraction, like this, 26 tenths. So that's a total of 26 tenths. Now let's take a look at how this would look in decimal form. Here I have some area models. Each area model has been separated into ten parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, in this one, I have ten. Well, I have a total of five area models. So, how many tenths do I have? I have fifty tenths. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, 50. Now I'm going to shade some in. Now how many tenths do I have shaded? I have 10 tenths shaded. I have one whole area model shaded.
Now how many tenths do I have shaded? I have two whole area models shaded, so I have 20 tenths shaded. Now let's shade in some more. Now I have shaded six of these parts. So when I think about this in fraction form, I can see that I have two holes and six tenths more. I can think of it like this. Two holes, six tenths being equal to two plus six tenths. When I think about it in decimal form, I have two holes plus six tenths. So two and six tenths is equal to two plus six tenths. We can also think of it in number bond form. Two and six tenths is my whole. One of the parts is two holes. Here they are. And the other part is six tenths. Now this is um, a little part of your problem set and your homework looks a lot like this. And in this example, number two is like halfway done for you. I think I filled in this answer. But you have to shade in an amount on the area model. So just like we did before, you would shade in two whole area models and six parts of another one. Like that. This would be one hole shaded, this would be another hole shaded, and then here's six of the parts shaded of the next area model. And this shows that two and six tenths is equal to two holes plus six tenths written as a fraction. And then we write it as in decimal form. It's equal to two plus six tenths written as a decimal equals two decimal six, or two and six tenths. So let's take a look at this one. Well, the first thing we'll do is we'll shade in our area model to show our three holes are shaded. Now we need to shade in four tenths of the next model. We'll be about there. Now we need to write a number sentence to show what we did. Three plus four tenths, which is what this piece is. And then as a decimal, this is how we would write it. So here on the blank, three and four tenths, what is it equal to in decimal form? Three and four tenths. All right, that'll take care of things for lesson two, where we've been using the metric system and area models to represent tenths as fractions greater than one and decimal numbers.